everybody what's up listen this is gonna be a quick video so i um i um i had stopped by loves which i'm at loves now and let me see i'm doing this for a reason okay you see the truck in front of the truck that's in front of me so i had stopped by loves right and so when I stopped by Love's, I um I looked at my phone and I saw I had a couple of comments on the video that was scheduled to upload today at like 12 something. I had a couple of comments about the video I did last night when I was in Missouri and I was in the fuel island and I had did a 30 minute break in the fuel island. Now I did do the, I do not promote doing a 30 minute break and I ain't even mad about the comment and stuff like that. I don't know be a little whatever i understand where it comes from because i get frustrated when drivers sit in the fuel island and do a 30 minute break so i get it and i understand but i did not even though i said on the video i did a 30 minute break i didn't pull up into the fuel island with the full intent of doing a 30 minute break i've been sitting here in line for um five minutes waiting on these trucks to move but um and this driver just did a whole inspection of his truck with this car hauler behind me you see the car hauler he's pulling back up now but last night here's the thing with that video last night when i pulled in it was well after 11 o'clock when i pulled in and the fuel island was pretty much empty other than the trucks that was like on either side of me the fuel island was pretty much empty i do not pull into the fuel island at 2 30 in the evening and do a 30 minute break i do not do that and i don't like when other drivers are doing that but late at night when usually i'm gonna be in and out now unfortunately last night i wasn't in and out and which was a good thing because the only thing i was gonna do is once the truck in front of me had moved i was just gonna ease forward and um finish my little um break finish my little break <clears throat> and in that video if you notice i kept looking either looking over to my um left at the driver the driver was bagging up if i would have been pulled forward i would have been in his way and um i'm looking i'm checking my mirror and stuff no driver is behind me there's other fuel bays that's open and stuff like that where drivers can get those fuel bay if need be and i wasn't doing i didn't pull in there with the intent of just sitting there now don't think i'm excusing anything because i have pulled up into the truck stop one o'clock in the morning the truck stop is pretty much empty and i'm doing a 30 minute break right there in the fuel island i have did it and i own it and i ain't even ashamed of it but when because i'm not finna go around there and more than likely end up parking way at the back somewhere taking a parking space from a driver who's trying to get in i'm not there to stay so i'm taking that parking space and this driver don't even know i'm bagging up in this parking space just for 30 minutes they don't even know this and um take that party sit there for 30 minutes a driver done come in now he got to try to get to the next truck stop because he don't have anywhere to park because i took a parking space that he could he or she could have got and i was only going to sit there for 30 minutes this is late at night when i do this in the wee hours of the morning pretty much after 11 o'clock at night that's when i um pull up into the fuel island if i need to do a 30 minute break that's when i do that and sometimes if i'm doing because it did change which i wasn't fueling last night and i said that in the video i was not getting fuel but if i'm getting fuel they changed the regulations to now if you take 10 minutes to fuel and then you're gonna be in the store about 10 minutes five ten minutes um all of that count as your 30 minute break that was not the case last night and i'm not trying to say it was because we know and i said it in the video i was not getting fuel i think i said it in the video i wasn't if i didn't say it i wasn't getting fuel last night but that was well after 11 o'clock at night the fuel bay was open uh, many other fuel bays was open and stuff and i don't want to take a parking space from a driver who's trying to come in in the middle of the night and this the one only spot that's open and they about out of time and i bagged up in it just to sit there for 30 minutes and then the whole darn fuel island is open and i could have parked it in cases like this in cases where the fuel bay is full trucks is lined up trucks in front of trucks i could pull up 
pull my butt over there to a, there going nothing pulling up. I could pull my butt over there into a parking space and park in a spot and do a 30 minute break if that's what I'm trying to do. Right now. Oh, he bagging up. The car hauler. Oh, maybe, no. Maybe he just wasn't right to put his um thing in there. But, um, right now, I need to get some fuel. And again, 10 minutes, because I'm waiting on flatbed to do it. By the time he get through doing what he doing, and by the time I get some fuel and be done doing what I'm doing, that will still be another 30 minute break that took place in the fuel island. But it wasn't like I pulled in here in the middle of the night with the full intent of doing a 30 minute um, break. And so it is what it is. But I did want to clear that up. That wasn't, because I said, I know you ain't one of those assholes drivers who do 30 minute break in the fuel island. Unfortunately, I am an asshole driver who do a 30 minute break in the fuel island. But you know, I try to be a little courteous with my assholeness and I try to do it, it but you know, try, I do do it um, well after 11 o'clock when the parking spaces are pretty much full and driver coming in trying to get parked. And we know I'm a night out. I run at night and stuff like that. And the fuel bay is open. It's open. Y'all know after 11, 12 o'clock at night, ain't nobody really pulling in and getting fuel. And then plus I kept checking to make sure no one pulled up behind me because I'm not that much of an asshole. I hold another driver up when I know they trying to get fuel. They behind me, they trying to get fuel. And sometimes I feel like I got to hair up and go and stuff like that. If a driver just pull up behind me for a few seconds, I don't want them to have to wait. And that, that's just me being courteous because I don't want to have to wait. Have I did a um, break in the um, thing? Yes, I have. Hold on. I had to stop it so I can um, get out here and actually get some fuel. <laughs> but I ain't mad at nobody about their comments and stuff like that. Because I own what I do. I own what I do. If I did it, I did it. But I do try to explain it. I don't go deep into details on, like, I didn't say, well, y'all, it's after 11 o'clock at night and the fuel island is pretty much empty. That's why I'm sitting here doing a 30 minute break. Which most of that time was spent inside the truck stop. It was spent up in there. But now I got to go because I'm actually getting some fuel. <laughs> I got to go now, but I did want to clear that up. And I got another video that's uploading that y'all probably see tomorrow. So this is going to be kind of different. I just wanted to come and address that right quick. So, thank you for your comment. Thank you for noticing. No, I do not do that and hold other drivers up. Yes, I have done that, but usually it's out well after 11 o'clock at night. And I do not advise anyone to sit there and hold other drivers up. Because um, you want to do a 30 minute break in the field out. I don't advise doing it. Where is my... Oh, I got it. But other than that, I will talk to y'all. I will talk to y'all good people later. All right. Bye.